In this video, we will demonstrate how to export the payment processing file and how to upload that file into Jonas Encore. Clubs will have the ability to gather the payments collected within a report by way of the EFT portal seen here, which will provide you with a text file that can be uploaded to your back office system to update your accounting system of all payments and convenience fees received such that payment amounts are applied to the members' receivables and any applicable convenience fees are posted to a Revenue GL account. Upon logging into the EFT website, you will be prompted to enter your email and password. Upon clicking Login, you will be prompted to enter a six-digit code that will be sent to the email address entered in the previous screen. Once you've entered your code, go ahead and click Validate. The report we need for our upload can be found under Reports and Custom Payments Report. All the fields required for the report have already been checked for you, so there is no need to make any edits. The only thing you do need to adjust is when your payments occurred on or after and on or before. You can do a time range if you like, or if you are exporting your custom report every day, we can click on our drop down select today's date as well as today's date and the text file that we export will only include payments made on that date. From here we can just scroll to the bottom of the screen and all you have to do is click export. That will download the text file for you and if we go ahead and click on that, here's an example of what your text file is going to look like. ACH payments may take 3 to 5 days to process depending on your bank. Note that payments will only appear in the text file once they have been processed and will be listed as the date processed, not the date the payment was made. In order to obtain the payment processing file, i.e. the text file, it must be exported from the EFT website as seen in the previous step. It is recommended that you save that text file in a new folder labeled ETS on your network shared drive. As a note, please ensure that the ETS folder is not created within too many subfolders as it may exceed the folder path character limit when attempting to upload. Once the text file has been saved within the ETS folder, you are ready to upload that information into the Jonas Encore system. Our next step is to create a payment item. Each payment item is linked to a hard-coded payment type and your choice of bank account. This will only have to be created once and can be used moving forward to process online payments. To create a payment item, we're going to log in to Jonas Encore. We're going to navigate over to System Administration and Payment Items. If you don't have payment items within your ribbon, you can find that under Additional Options and Setups. So let's click on Payment Items. First, you're going to go ahead and click the New button. Because I already have a payment item set up, I'll show you what you need for that item. For the quick access code, you can use ETS or OLP for online payments. For the description, go ahead and put ETS payments or online payments and include your extended description as well. For the payment item category, specify the category to associate the payment item to. The payment type should be set on external processor and your bank account should be set to ETS Online Payments or General Operating or your applicable bank account. For Card Processor, we want to make sure we leave this at Don't Use Any Processor and make sure Active is checked below that. Finally, on the right hand side, we just want to make sure AR Cash Receipts is also checked. Once you've added all your fields, just make sure you go ahead and save that payment item. Now that we have our payment item, we can go ahead and upload our payment file. We can do this by navigating over to Accounts Receivable and clicking on Cash Receipts. From here, we're going to go ahead and click New. Within the Cash Receipts window, we're going to go ahead and choose our date of record and input a batch reference. So for example, we can put the date of our batch. Then go ahead and enter your statement description. So you can do something similar to ETS, online, payment. 
and just note that there is a 30 character limit. For the bank account, if it's not already pre-selected, go ahead and select the applicable bank account. Sales area should also be pre-populated, but if not, please select the appropriate sales area. Once you've filled out all those fields, we're going to click the import button. This will bring us into our cash receipt import window. And from here, we're going to make sure our payment item is set on that payment item for ETS or OLP that we just created. Our receivable, we're going to set that over to accounts receivable or apply to all if needed. Statement description, you have the choice between the three options you see here. So go ahead and select the one that you'd like. For the file type, make sure we set this over to ETS online payment file format. Next, you can go ahead and click that folder icon to locate our text file. So we'll just go ahead and double click on that file. Lastly, go ahead and choose where you'd like to post those convenience fees. And once you've inputted all those fields, go ahead and click start import. This will display all the member payments for us. And this is also the time when you can come in and make any adjustments if needed by selecting the payment item and changing the amount to apply on the right. In payment application, you'll be able to see the amount that will be applied to the member's account. You can also switch over to distribution to GL and this will show you where the convenience fees will be applied. Once you're good to go, go ahead and click next. To view where the member payments and convenience fees will be posted, you can go ahead and click the plus sign beside the member number. Once you're ready to go, we're going to go ahead and click post. This will open up a report to display the member payments as well as the convenience fees. Once you're done reviewing the report, we can go ahead and close out. Lastly, as an optional step, you can view a member payment. We can do that by navigating over to accounts receivable and clicking on account inquiry. From here, go ahead and search for the member number, adjust your from and to date if needed, and here we can see the payments that we've just uploaded.